on with Wild. Today I'm going to show you how to hook up uh, your digital tuner adapter. First, you're going to open the box. Inside this box, you're going to have instructions on how to hook it up. And you're going to have a remote, your adapter, a jumper, a power cord, and an IR blaster. Also, you're going to have a little sticker here with a serial number, which you're going to need to activate your DTA. First thing we're going to do is read the instructions. Is read the instructions. The first thing here is find the coax cable that runs from the cable outlet to your TV. So we're going to go find that here. So we're going to find the line starting from the wall. Here it is. So we're going to make sure there's no VCRs or anything in between. Then the second step is to disconnect the coax cable from your TV. Connect this cable to the cable in port on the back of the digital cable adapter, which is here, cable in. Leave the other end of this cable plugged into the wall. The second step is to take the provided coax cable, which is here, undo the ties. Take this from the two TV input to the TV. Screw it on there. And then find your RFN barrel on the back of your TV and screw it in there. third step is to, this switch here should already be on 4, but please verify that it's on 4. <clears throat> the next step is to take your power cord here, and plug it into your DTA. From there, run it to a good power source. Something like the other one. The next step would be to make grab your IR blast there, which is here. Plug it into the IRN port. With the provided sticky tabs, you can stick a piece on here and set it on the bottom or the front of your TV. Here or here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the pad that came with it, which is here, this little round pad with the two protective sides for the glue. Peel one off, 
and put it on here. Then I'm going to peel the other one off and put it on here. If your DTA does not stick and it wants to keep falling, there are Velcro pads that come with it also. Next thing I'm going to do is, I've already put my batteries in my remote, so next thing I'm going to do is program my remote. I then look for the manufacturer of my TV, which here is Apex. Then I will open my instruction manual. and find my set of codes which are in alphabetical order from here and then on the following side which is here so from that point I will find my code and then so apex which I have here so I will then set my remote in programming mode by pushing set and power And then the light will stay red. I will then punch in each code single handedly and then hit power. If the TV cuts off, you have found the correct code and it automatically locks it in. If not, follow that step again by hitting set and power until it stays red and punch in another code and then tap power again and repeatedly. If you would like to auto program the TV, you push set and power and hold it until the light starts blinking and then you let go. The light will continue to blink and then whenever it finds the correct code hit power and it will lock it in for you. And then what you will do is you will hit the power button, you will hit the volume button on the remote to turn the default volume on the DTA all the way up. And then to set the default volume with the remote to your TV you will hit set and hold it and hit volume up at the same time. From that point, you will get this screen here. Once you get this screen, you will then refer back to the sticker that came with your set with the serial number, which is here, and punch that in the web login site to activate your DTA. Once you do that, your DTA will then be activated and you will get TV. Once you're activated your DTA, you will then get picture here. If you do not get picture, you do not get that original activation screen. Please verify your television is not on channel 4. So what we have here, there is a slight delay in channel change. If you look here, you can see the channel changing and the network that it's on. So that is the final steps of setting up your DTA.